Hello and welcome to Music Nerd Number Crunch. In Smashing Pumpkins numbers seven, that's how many records the pumpkins have released over the course of their career, if you include their upcoming Oceania. Zero, that's how many original members other than Billy Corgan perform on Oceania. Uh, Thirteen, that's how many tracks are on the album, which Corgan has said is just part of his larger 44-song epic Tear Garden by Kaleidoscope, which comes out later this summer. Uh, in non-Smashing Pumpkins numbers, $2.99, that's the discounted rate Google Music charged for select records during its 24-hour tax day flash sale, causing those titles to see a huge sales boost. The title with the biggest percent increase was The Roots Things Fall Apart, which jumped 1,801%. Uh, and 1,193,558, uh, that's how many views Tupac Shakur's Wikipedia article received last week, a nearly 500% increase over the previous week in the wake of his returning from the dead in hologram form. Pac's 1998 Greatest Hits album is also back on the charts for the first time since 2000. It's at number 129, having sold 4,000 copies. Speaking of the charts, Jack White's debut solo album Blunderbuss is king this week. It's at number one, having sold 137,000 copies. Uh, but more interesting than number one this week are numbers four and six. At number four, we have One Direction with Up All Night. And at number six, we have Kip Moore with, get this, Up All Night. Can you say conspiracy? <laughs> conspiracy. Conspiracy. Looking further down the charts, Duluth, Minnesota bluegrass band Trampled by Turtles are enjoying their third straight week on the album charts. Uh, they're at 95, perhaps aided by a couple of things. Last week, they played a cover of Arcade Fire's Rebellion Lies for the Onions AV Club just a few days after appearing on The Late Show with David Letterman. CeeLo Green's Lady Killer is back on the charts at number 103. It saw a 225% sales jump that probably has something to do with his role as a judge on NBC's The Voice. And Twinkle by K-pop group Girls' Generation made its U.S. chart debut at number 112, uh, further evidence of Korean pop going global. On the singles chart in the wake of Queen Week on American Idol, Idol fangirls everywhere apparently flocked to iTunes to download Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, the classic has returned to the charts at number 135 with 15,000 downloads this week. Johnny Cash's cover of Hurt continues to benefit from being in commercials for Prototype 2. Uh, it climbed from 86 to number 69. Uh, Kanye and Jay-Z's Ninjas in Paris. It's not actually called Ninjas. You know what it's called. Uh, it's also in a commercial for a French presidential candidate, Francois Hollande. But it's not benefiting like the man in black is benefiting from his commercial. Uh, the Throne Watchers dropped 12 spots this week from number 88 to number 100. That's all for this week's Number Cruncher. To watch me rant about Anonymous's new music player, click over there uh, and subscribe to Fuse or else.